Alright guys, so today we're going to learn how to cut a pineapple. They're on sale. You can already tell they're very, very ripe. Hopefully they're not bad inside, but uh, if you are looking to see whether or not a pineapple is ripe, if you guys are not sure, the easiest way is to uh, go try and pluck out one of the spines from the, um, the top of the pineapple. You want to go for like the one right in the center. And uh, if they come out pretty easy like that, that means the pineapple is ripe and ready to eat. And you're also looking for the smell, that it smells good like pineapple. When you're cutting a pineapple, it's actually best to use a serrated knife as opposed to a non-serrated knife because the teeth in the serrated knife is actually going to grip itself to the fruit and it's going to be a lot easier to cut through the fruit without slipping around. So as always, I have my cutting board with a damp towel underneath so that doesn't slip either. So I'm going to start by cutting off the crown. Nice drawing action, like that. Alright. And I do have some uh, spots that aren't so great. And then I'm gonna cut down, cut off the bottom. Just like that. So now I have a flat surface. Put it down, I'm just gonna go around the edges. Um, cutting deep enough to cut the spines, but I cut my first cut. Probably could have been a little bit deeper, but I can just go back over it if I need to. And then I'm gonna come in and go around the pineapple. I do see that there is a little bit of it that's going bad, but I can just cut that part out. So I'm going to cut it straight down the middle. So I cut it down the center. I'm going to quarter it and then I'll be able to cut out the core of the pineapple. And you also just want to get rid of any spines you might have missed, just like a haircut can take off more, but you can't put back on. You want to get as close to the core as you can, uh, which you can see running down, running down the center of the pineapple, but you don't want to chop off any fruit that is good to eat. You're going to put it on the counter like this and go in on an angle. Down. So I'm able to cut out the core as close to the as I possibly can. So then I have a nice flat surface and you gotta decide how big you want your chunks, right? You also want to cut off any pieces that don't look so great. So I'm just gonna cut through here. I know like this piece might be, not be good but I'll just get rid of that small chunk. And then slice it down. Now I have some fruit salad sized pineapple chunks for uh, fruit salad. What do you call it a fruit salad? 